Hey guys, so today I'm here showing you a new build for the HTC HD2 and for many of you guys this will be like uh, too much <laughs> because this build is the Marshmallow 6.0 or Cyanogen Mod uh, 13 let me show you fast uh, the settings uh, camera, not camera and this build actually it, it works pretty smooth I, I will say it works smoother than lollipop but uh, because of its low memory many things doesn't work here so as you can see android version 6.0 model number htc 2 uh, cyanogen mod 13 uh, so as you can see it works kind of okay let's show you here what's the storage i have so I have uh, 3 gigabytes internal and the SD card is corrupted because of the partitions and this build is actually a little better than a lollipop because of the partitions the lollipop had too many partitions and this one has only two partitions and I believe to make this uh, ROM work on this um, smartphone uh, the developers or the who made this ROM Mac 18 Max, that's the name from the XD developers. Um, they need to make like a swap partition so it allows to get uh, RAM memory from SD card. I'm not sure if this is possible, but this is how it was working in uh, older uh, models. Let's see in the memory. As you can see, I have only. 369 megabytes and because of that many apps doesn't work for example like uh, um, store I installed the gaps too but store doesn't work it just tries to open and then it shuts down because I believe it's because of the low memory um, and also the browser doesn't work because of that only with 69 megabytes as you can see browser stopped but all, all the other things work for example uh, calling works even though the, the sim may, may not working uh, as you can see it's not so fast but it's not low also for a 512 megabytes uh, device uh, let me show you even the, the music works I put here a music I think uh, of course it takes time to, to open because this device it's from 2009 you can't expect it to be as fast as a new device from 2015 let's try to play did I press? no? now I pressed volume also works let's try to I don't know, I press pause. Okay, I started from the beginning. And even if you go in the background, the music will still uh, play. I hope. Yep, it's still playing. As you can see, it shows here that it's still playing. You can still go and watch your stuff, even though it will be slow, because let's see now what's the free memory. Let's make it lo lower. Let's see what's the free memory now. It, it was, before it was 69 megabytes. Let's see now. 67 megabytes. Oh, okay. With music playing. I guess it doesn't take so much. So you can pause it from here. Um, what more I can show you? Um, audio effects also works. Um, every, almost everything works. Or I think it works. Yeah, audio fix works. Um, there's not many apps or many things on this uh, build because how store doesn't work, you don't, you will not have apps. Um, but you can uh, plug it in your PC and use it uh, storage, so you can uh, put uh, APKs on the phone. That's how I put the music. Oh, I put also uh, pictures, I think. 
gallery. Um, of course, the the um, the build is not for daily use because even the, on the picture you see it doesn't work so good. You, you need to tap to make zoom. If you tap, it it will do the zoom and it will you can. But with double fingers, it doesn't work so good. As you can see, it it loads the images fast, but the double fingers doesn't work. Come on. Okay. Now with one finger or double tap, of course it will do the zoom. And let's see how many apps do we have on background. Uh, I think it's this button. Yeah. As you can see, I have almost everything on this phone possible. It's opened. Let's. Oh, there's not. Oh, there is. I was thinking there's no button to close everything. Okay, so now it should work a little faster, but yeah, without Play Store you can't do many things, only by installing APKs, but uh, I mean, browser doesn't work and uh, Play Store doesn't work, these are the most annoying, uh, I think, I guess, bugs. And uh, let me see here. Uh, oh yeah, camera also doesn't work. There's no, actually there's no, as you can see, there's no shortcut or icon for the camera. But when you shut it down and you open, here is the camera at the bottom and you can swipe up and it should open the camera. But it will say that uh, the camera does not found or can't connect to the camera. So, I mean, the camera works because I did test it on other builds and it works, but on this build doesn't work. At least for me it doesn't work, for others it might work, because I'm here watching the, the um, developer of this ROM, the um, website on XDA developers, and it says bugs camera. It might be a little laggy, but it, so by this means it works, but it's laggy. But for me it doesn't work, so uh, maybe the way I installed it, it's not correct. But this is the way you install and if you want... Actually the way I installed it, it's the same way as uh, Lollipop. Only on Lollipop I did like 4 partitions and now you do only 2 partitions. But if you are interested in this ROM, uh, like you want to test it like I, I am testing, then let me know in the comments guys and I uh, I will make a, a video on how to install it for sure there's no problem with it uh, it's very easy to install just like on uh, lo lollipop but here you even do less uh, partitions uh, so I guess the solution of this um, this uh, bug or not bug or this miss feature is the low uh, ROM uh, RAM not ROM RAM because as you can see, let's try to go again in the memory. As you can see, the device it's only 512 megabytes, and even here shows only 421. So the other um, like 60 megabytes of RAM, uh, they are um, they are blocked to the system. I don't want to go too much inside of it, but it's something like this. It's it's blocked. So if there will be a way. To, un to unlock this uh, RAM or to use like um, swap memory from the SD card so it will be like uh, RAM it will be like written as RAM like here for example as in the storage let me show you the device also has 512 megabytes of uh, internal storage but I have here 282 gigabytes so if this uh, will be possible to do the same for the RAM, then I guess the problem of uh, uh, not allowing the store uh, opening or uh, browser or any other apps because there's no there's not many RAM uh, available, it will be perfect. Um, I'm sure the guys already are working on a fix because this build is like a pre-alpha build. It's only for really it's only for testing. And the developer option works but 
I do have positive um, aspect of this um, build. I hope um, Mac continues to work on this build because it doesn't work bad. I mean, as you can see here, it works kind of okay for a uh, whole device. Even here, it works pretty okay. If, like I said, if the RAM uh, swap will be possible, then even though the, the this build will be, it's kind of slow, it will be possible to use it as a daily driver because yeah it's slow but if the RAM if there is enough RAM then it will be possible to use the the ROM of course. Oh I even you can swipe double finger or not. Yeah double finger and brings both down. Um, but as you can see there's not many apps here. Uh, what I can show you more file manager yes of course everything works only the the store and browser doesn't work which is more important and doesn't work doesn't work but all the other things works as you can see it's not so so slow I mean it works for uh, all device it works then you can go in downloads um, I'm very happy because even though the, the, the build, the ROM, it's not for daily use, I'm very happy because this device is like a king it's from 2009 and it still receives the latest build of Android, even though it's not you know, uh, usable, but it receives. Not like uh, other smartphones that are like from 2012, 2013. And they are stuck in like Android, KitKat, or uh, even lower. But this one, all possible because of the developers that uh, still want to bring this device alive. Which even you can use this device with uh, KitKat, with Lollipop. The, the ROMs are kind of pretty stable, with KitKat and uh, Lollipop. So I don't see any problem with that. But of course, we always want the newest version and here we have the newest version but unfortunately it doesn't work so for a daily for a daily use uh, messaging also works as you can see let me just try to bring up the keyboard uh, hello yeah the keyboard even works better than on uh, lolly and and lollipop yes so yeah, what I can say more about this ROM, guys. I can't show you much, many things because there's not many apps installed here, and I can't install them only through the APKs. But this takes more much time, and uh, I'm waiting for uh, perhaps um, let's see a, a better build and a better a better ROM. Where, where the Play Store works and if the Play Store works then we can install other apps and test them of course even though um, there is not many RAM but if the Play Store works at least we can install the apps so thank you guys for watching and let me know in the comments if you would like to see a tutorial on how to install this uh, ROM this build um, Take in mind that this build is not for daily uses, uh, it's only for testing purpose. But yeah, if you're happy to on your device, on this King device to get the latest Android version, then yeah, you will might might want to test it. So thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.